Hi, I'm Father Browning from St. Thomas More. Hi, my name is Grace, and I'm the Youth Director at Holy Cross Parish. Hi, I'm Isaac Weikert at St. Peter down in Geneva. Hi everyone, I'm Lauren, and I'm the Youth Minister at St. Patrick Parish. Well, I mean, I think it's, it always goes to the principle that Jesus teaches us in the Gospels, right? Seek first the Kingdom of God. This will help bring, make God real to them, like really encounter Jesus in the, um, in the Mass and the Sacrament of Confession and prayer that can have a lasting effect uh, on your student, I mean, your child. There's just nothing more important, in my opinion. I always say when it comes to middle schoolers that fun leads to trust and trust leads to vulnerability. That's when they're really um, able to open their hearts to the Lord. And of course, as soon as they open even just a little bit to God, He just is immediately right there with them. Camp is a perfect example of this because we spend all day just having tons and tons of fun together, which just builds up their trust with one another until we come together in the evening for sessions of prayer and sacraments and talks and worship and by the time we get there after having fun together all day long the kids are just so open to what the Lord is doing. One of the things I think is great about camp is going there and, and leaving your previous place to really take almost like a pilgrimage with these other students but in a way that's fun and also effective for the age that they're at. So being able to encounter our Lord and one another through activities and seeing where he is in all things as they kind of put their old selves away and kind of become this new self through confession, experience, all these different ways to do that, then they're able to come home transformed in Christ and so ready to go to just spread the word of God, the love of God to their friends and neighbors. What I love about camp is it is just some of the best of what we mean by a retreat. You're able to get away and spend time with those you know and those you don't in a different environment. It's not surprising that like when young people or I reflect on like my first experiences camp that consistently your camp counselor, your camp experience is something that's really a unifying factor of childhood. And to be able to do this every summer and just be able to do it in a way with sacraments and with just adventure is just absolutely one of my favorite things. So it's very important to all of us at camp that if money is an issue that you reach out directly to us because we don't want that to ever uh, keep someone who wants to come to camp from coming to camp. So we will make a, a full decision on April 1st whether camp will happen or not. If you have paid and we decide to cancel camp because of COVID, you don't have to worry about the money. We will give you a full refund, uh, but you'll know by April 1st uh, whether we're going for sure or not. So obviously with things as they are, camp's not going to be exactly the same as we remember it, but we've put in a lot of work both with uh, you know, the camp and the diocese to make sure that as we go forth into the summer, no matter the circumstances, we can be able to adapt safely to what's happening in our current lifestyle of COVID. I mean, at camp, of course, we're going to be requiring masks and spaces and keeping as much distance as possible and all the things that we just have ingrained to ourselves perfectly. We definitely want to make you aware that it's been on the forefront of our minds in adapting what camp looks like and looking into the logistics of the spaces that the camp and property itself has provided. One of the things I'm most excited about is the fact that we'll have a priest with us on campus the entire time. We'll have three different nights for prayer, praise, worship, and community. And we'll even have people praying back at home for us. So this is a wonderful opportunity to really encounter our Lord through community and His true presence. You know, I've been to this site before, Lutherdale Bible Camp in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. You can Google it and see like the whole site tour. They have stunning facilities. Um, the food is actually really amazing. They grow a decent portion of it on campus. The staff there is remarkable. We have the whole campsite to ourselves. It's just our group. Um, and so everything is catered exactly to what our kiddos need. It is an incredible, incredible site. We would love for your child to join us. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to any one of us. We would love to answer your questions or even just to tell you more about camp. Mm -hmm.